So red light therapy can very easily come across as something that is too good to be true. It's got such a wide range of application with so many different benefits from, you know, faster muscle recovery, decreased inflammation, faster hair growth, better sleep quality. And if you don't have an understanding of how red light therapy works, it really can seem like a gimmick or something that is just too good to be true. Even if you've seen, you know, some users have said that they've had these benefits or even the fact that it's proven in the scientific literature. So what we're going to be doing in this video is unpacking how red light therapy works so that you have an understanding of why it has such a wide range of application. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to another video on the Mitochondria YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then this channel is all about light and your circadian rhythms and how these can impact your health and performance. So if you want to learn more about these, then make sure that you hit both the subscribe and the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we release future videos. For today's video, we're going to keep it really simple. We're just going to give you a simple understanding of how red light therapy works so that you can then see why there's such a wide range of benefits that have been proven with red light therapy. So to start, you've probably heard of the mitochondria. This is the powerhouse within your cells. And understanding why the mitochondria are important is going to be fundamental to understanding how red light therapy works. So the mitochondria are basically like the power stations in a city which are generating um, electricity for the city to run. Now within each and every one of your cells you have mitochondria that are generating energy. Now that could be a skin cell, a muscle cell or a liver cell. All of those cells are going to have mitochondria within them that are generating energy for that specific cell to perform its function. So if there's more energy in whichever cell it is, that cell is going to be able to perform its specific function better. Now the way that red light therapy works is it targets the mitochondria within your cells and it upregulates this energy production within your cells wherever you're aiming your red light therapy device. So a good way to think of it is if you could picture a doctor, an engineer and an athlete and if you gave each of those three people more energy you would find that they would be able to perform their specific functions better. So the same thing is essentially happening with red light therapy is when you're aiming your red light therapy device at skin cells, at hair cells or at muscles after a workout, if you're giving those cells more energy, they're going to be able to perform their specific function better. So those hair cells, they're going to be able to grow themselves better. If you're aiming at your skin, then your skin cells are going to be able to produce more collagen and make your uh, skin look younger. If you're aiming it at muscle cells, then they're going to be able to deal with inflammation or to repair muscle tissue that has been damaged from a hard workout. And what's really important to understand is that red light therapy isn't tapping into some you know, crazy pathway that you know, we've only recently discovered. What actually would have happened is your ancestors spent a lot more time outside uh, than you and I currently do. You know, most of us spend way too much time inside. And the type of light that you get from sunlight, the predominant wavelengths are actually the exact same wavelengths of light that are used in red light therapy. So it's no coincidence that the most dominant type of light that you would get outside and the healthy wavelengths of light that you get from sunlight, those are the ones that your mitochondria have tapped into and started using as an energy source. So the reason why you know, red light therapy has such a um, huge impact on so many people's lives is because your cells are already starved of red and near-infrared light because you know, most of us aren't getting outside enough. So red light therapy essentially becomes a way that you can supplement your light environment and bring yourself a little bit closer to nature and what you would have, uh, the type of light that you would have received if you were spending a lot more time outside. You know, we always joke and say that one day we should try and replicate all these red light therapy studies with like the Hudson tribe or some kind of tribe, you know, that lives outside and doesn't have the same problems that we do in a modern society. And I'd probably take a guess that we wouldn't see such drastic improvements with them because they're already spending so much time outside. Whereas for you and I, because we're inside so much, what red light therapy is basically able to do is bring us a little bit closer to that and to, in a much shorter time period, really supplement our light environment with red and near infrared light, and in doing so, upregulate the mitochondria within your cells, which is going to lead to this wide range of benefits that we've uh, already discussed on this channel, and obviously some that you may have come across in your own research. Now, in closing this video, I just want to let you know that, you know, obviously depending on what red light therapy device you're using, depending on how strong that device is, the amount of time you would have to sit in front of your device in order to really see some benefits, that can vary. So if you're looking for some of the strongest red light therapy devices on the market, then make sure that you check out the MyLight range from Mychondria. 
These you can start to see benefits in as little as five minutes per day. You know, just sitting in front of your device and aiming it at an area of your body, that is gonna upregulate that energy production within those cells, and that's gonna to lead to a host of benefits that you're gonna experience for the rest of your day. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the content of today's video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button so we know that you enjoy content like this and it feels our fire to make more videos for you. Again, if you have any questions, drop them below. But otherwise, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.